I was just kidding, guys. Hey, this is Caleb. Uh, some of you guys probably know me better as S15274N, and I absolutely hate having to say that. Call me Caleb. Anyway, uh, what uh, you are looking at right now, sneak peek. This is Whitehawk's uh, Valhalla Final. Uh, did a little testing for him. It's pretty amazing. Uh, nobody's going to have any issues with this ROM. It's been spectacular for me. Um, Angry Unicorn is in effect now. Uh, he is amazing. Uh, K West 1020 came up with the uh, logo. It's awesome. Did the icons. Big fan of the Angry Unicorn. Uh, this is my home screen. We're going to get into that a little bit more. Let me go ahead and show you. You know, you got your standard. Uh, Extended menu, hopefully you can see that alright. I'm going to reboot so you can see the lock screen. Or, I'm sorry, the uh, the boot up. Ras Carlo did the boot animation. It's amazing. Um, first time I booted up my phone, I just kind of died laughing. That was pretty awesome. So, he did the boot animation. K West did the logo and the icon. Um, Roman helped Whitehawk out with, you know, the tweaks. Uh, they brought in the uh, MEUI, uh, MIUI, whatever you want to say. I hate saying that. Uh, the battery. Um, anyway, well, I'll let this boot up. Uh, after the boot animation, we'll start talking maybe about the toggles. Uh, he added some new toggles, which are pretty awesome. Yeah, I told you that was awesome. Alright, um, well, you know, I'm already here, so I might as well keep talking about it. Uh, Whitehawk, typical fashion, went crazy with some lock screens. You've got all the ones that you're accustomed to. Uh, one thing I want to point out, if you do, the, it starts off with, it defaults to the 4 tab, which is the one that I like. Be sure you set this as a custom app. If you don't, you'll get a soft reboot. So, you know, to do that, menu, let's see. Oh, and this is a problem with ADW, I think. I wasn't noticing it with the TouchWiz uh, launcher that John uh, Whitehawk included. Uh, but you'll see how I've got the standard uh, market APK uh, file down there. If I go menu, ADW, restart ADW, uh, then I've got my icons like I should have. So I don't really think that's an issue with the ROM. If you're noticing you've got something missing, what you need to do is you need to go back after you flash the ROM and do another factory wipe. Uh, that seems to be the way to fix that. Um, but I haven't had any issues with missing uh, apps. Uh, I've really just had ADW doing that with two uh, apps that are on my external, not internal memory. But, alright, menu, settings, uh, you've got your tweaks, lock screen settings, choose custom app. Yeah, it's going through all of your apps, that does take a while. Ha! Huh, it took that long. Um, and I set mine as plume, but, I mean, this thing is really, really fast. Um, you know, you've got all your standard lock screens. I don't know how well that's showing up on my camera, sorry. Um, let's see. Got my music controls. Clock options. You've got your standard stuff. These guys have added in for us, you know, showing the AM, small AM, high, the AM, blah, blah, blah. The custom color. One thing you may not be able to see down here now is you can put in the hex code which I love. So, I hate that that's red, but let's just to show you. So, I'm going to select all. I'm going to copy it. And now, let's say I want my battery to be the same. Now, I've got my uh, MIUI, sorry, I hate saying that, uh, bar up here. I'm going to take that off. 
and I'm going to put on my battery icon, and I'm going to make it a small percentage. I'm going to turn off my automatic color, make it a static color, and what I like about being able to put in the hex code is you can really make it exactly the color you want, and you can copy and paste it so you know those two match identical. Um, big fan of that. Um, but I much prefer that. Now that you can't have a static color. It's going to default to the uh, changing with the um, battery indicator. It's kind of hard to get by that. So uh, I'm just pleased to have that up there. Uh, that's so much of a better icon to me, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Hide that. Alright, so, there we go. There's that. Uh, oh, hey, I don't know. I skipped right over that. There are now toggles for the CRT animation. Huge fan of being able to toggle that. I hated the on, but there you go. There's off. There's on. And I'm going to cut it back off. But, you know, it's been really fast. I mean, cutting it on, off, I really have noticed no lag at all. Um, so we got that, uh, oh, uh, big fan of the, uh, toggles now. You may have noticed that is dramatically different. That is sexy. I don't know, uh, Whitehawk did a lot of work on this, I guess. I mean, it looks really good. Um, you can kind of scroll through. Oh, look at that. There's some new ones. Uh, there's brightness. If it's on, that means auto brightness is on. Uh, you've got reboot and shutdown up there now. That's awesome. And I mean that toggle just flies through. Also, everything on this is really smooth. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think what else. We talked about who to credit. We talked about the toggles. Oh, and most people know this, but you know, for like, let's say I'm gonna cut on my Wi-Fi. Awesome. That toggle is really cool that I can do that. But you know, hopefully some of you guys also know that you can long press on these and it takes you straight to the option menus. Um, so, uh, let's see. Where's another one? Uh, I've never done the vibrate, but there you go. So, I mean, all of them work. Uh, it's really a nice additional feature. Not intuitive, but maybe most of y'all knew it was there. Um, let's see, other than that, you know, it's a standard, uh, solid ROM, very fast, uh, Jonathan made some, uh, sorry, Jonathan, Whitehawk, raw, did some hardware acceleration, uh, 2D acceleration, editing the build prop, um, also made some tweaks to it that should help with the external 4, uh, supposedly it helps Android better optimize it, uh, and recognize it. Um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling with what to say to you guys. I mean, everything is just how you expect. It's super fast. Um, yeah, I'm using ADWX. I probably should be showing you guys the stock, you know, TouchWiz, uh, launcher. Uh, I think Jonathan's going to include the one that allows you to do a lot of editing. Um, uh, I don't use that launcher. Sorry. Uh, also, I think he was only going to include the one that allowed the tweaks. If you wanted to kind of like the stock TouchWiz launcher, I believe you're going to have to go get that on your own. Uh, if you haven't used ADWEX, strongly encourage it. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, lots of features in there. You know, this is more about Jonathan and what he's got going, but also just encouraging ADW. Um, I don't know. I guess if you had any questions, uh, shoot me uh, a message on XDA. Hopefully this helped. Uh, all I can say is this ROM is absolutely amazing. Uh, I've been testing it out, have noticed no bugs. Um, and Jonathan did it because of just the support shown on XDA. You guys had a lot of kind words and he took that to heart. So kudos to those who were not trolling. Um, all right. Well, thanks, Jonathan.